Pensacola, from Jacksonville to Tallahassee, from Central Florida and all points spanning our wonderful topography, we've come. We are indeed many faces, but one dream. We have one dream of a quality educational opportunity for even the poorest of our children. We will not accept a system that champions choice by privilege of the rich and at the same time perpetuates systemic prohibition of choice for the poor. I can assure you that 4,000 faces will not be ignored today in Tallahassee. Protecting school choice is why 4,000 parents, students, and teachers are going to be in Tallahassee tomorrow during the Step It Up for Students rally. Close to five. All right, let's look at your directions. This small class setting for third grader Taylor Barnes is just right for her. Best time for the whole class at 101, and he likes, he helps everybody. Let's do number seven. Taylor attends Yvonne Reed Christian School, a private school that impressed her mother early on in kindergarten. It is phenomenal to know that a kindergartner can read. The kindergarten writing in cursive, I mean, is just, it's phenomenal. She's great. But it's the kind of private education single parent Shannon Coates says she couldn't afford without the state's corporate tax credit scholarship program. And Taylor would not be where she is getting the education that she's getting without the scholarship. 52 of the 116 students at the school are on the CTC scholarship. We were here till, well, last night making signs. And, on Thursday, uh, Taylor, her mom, and the entire school just, uh, will rally in Tallahassee uh, to keep the program ready. going and expand the income guidelines to help school. more families. Everyone needs, uh, ch needs choices. You know, like I said, uh, every school is not good for everybody. School founder Yvonne Reed Clayton opened the school after a 34-year career as a public school teacher. Some of them came from uh, public school and they weren't doing well and they're here now doing great. The school is a choice Reed Clayton and Taylor's mother want more kids to have. Fight for parent choice, fight for kids getting the best education possible. That's what I fight for every day. In St. Petersburg, Isabel Mascarenas, Tampa Bay's 10 News. Hear our voices! We want Hear our voices! We want Hear our voices! We want Over 4,500 persons, the largest school choice rally in the United States of America. Truly in an unprecedented nonpartisan coalition. Today's rally is sponsored by the Black Alliance for Educational Options, the Florida Alliance for Choices in Education, the Hispanic Coalition for Reform and Educational Options, the Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Florida Chamber of Commerce, Julio Fuentes, the National Coalition of Latino Clergy and Christian Leaders, and the Coalition of McKay Scholarship Schools an unprecedented coalition for this incredible nonpartisan time in which we leave the battles of the past and build together a bridge to the future. Live from Southwest Florida's morning news source, this is Fox 4 News Rising. Well, closer to home, Florida's newly elected governor is rallying for more school choice programs. Governor Charlie Crist rallied with thousands of students and parents in Tallahassee. All the demonstrators are asking for more programs to protect and expand educational assistance for lower income families. It's a need that Charlie Crist says needs to be addressed. You have the power to make the choice. If you get to make the decisions for your children, and that's what America is about. Now, many of those who gathered at the Capitol seem to agree that education goes hand in hand with opportunity, and that's why they're pushing for more and more options. This is a great showing of force to 
It's a great showing of what we need to do with education in the state. Parents have come to me looking for the power to do what is right for all our children right now. We simply want to find the best school for our kids. Parental choice and education, of, education should not be a partisan issue. It should not be decided based on whether you are a Democrat or you are a Republican. Parental choice should be decided on what is the best education for your children. According to a 2005 study by the Harvard Civil Rights Project, we graduate less than 50% of minority children in Florida. If you are a black male, African-American male, your choices are 38%. This scholarship has been one of the greatest gifts I have ever received and has dramatically changed my life. I know that today I walk out in life with a better perspective and a more mature attitude. If not for the, for the corporate tax credit scholarship, I would have continued my plans to jump out of school and most likely join the gang. What scares me even more is that I am confident that if I had continued the life that I lived before Trinity, I wouldn't be here alive to be speaking to you here. That is what school choice means to me. It allows me, the parent, who knows what's best for my child, to choose what is in his best interest. And ladies and gentlemen, today we certainly welcome this gentleman who is a civil rights legend. At the risk of death, he articulated and fought for equal justice under the law. He was jailed more than 35 times as he marched even with Dr. Martin Luther King in the Selma March and many other historic civil rights marches. He is a man whose passion and courage is a model for us all. Would you please welcome the Reverend H. K. Matthews. But I did come to tell you that this is a flashback of the old movement. But this is actually a continuation of the dream. A dream that allows all of us to be free to choose what's best for our children, our parents, our teachers, and ultimately this whole country. It is good to be able to choose freely where your children shall attend school. Yeah. This is not to, to deprive anybody of anything, but it is it's only to allow those of us who are similar here to make the freedom of choice that we desire to make. I think it's the parent's choice. The parents should have the right to say where their child goes to school. I think that's a right that a parent has. As you visit your legislators today, we ask you to remind them that we expect for them to support pending legislation and all of the legislation that will not only enhance but even expand educational opportunity, educational choice for every parent and every child and may the dream become a reality for each one of you. Thank you all very, very much. Let's welcome back Karen Feliciano as she closes us with the number. Thank you. 